Hello, this is Josh Franz again with another discrete mathematics video for X203 at the University of Michigan. Uh, today I'll be talking about variance and Chebyshev's inequality. I'm a member of group A13, A and if you'd like to uh, see more videos like this, visit this website right here. So what is variance? Well, oftentimes a distribution is uh, classified by its expected value, which is the average value. Uh, for instance, when you roll a die, the expected value will be 3.5. Uh, because that's the average, that's, uh, if you roll thousands of die and average the values, they will um, all circle around 3.5. Um, however, that doesn't tell us how uh, loosely distributed the, the data is. Uh, the variance tells us how widely or not widely distributed that data actually is. Uh, so we can calculate that with a very simple equation, or seemingly not simple, but we can make it simple. So the variance, which is um, denoted V of X, is equal to oops, I can't draw sigma, of uh, the sum of all the little s's in the sample space, big S, uh, so that is all the elements of s, um, of the random, uh, value of the random variable of s, s, minus the expected value of x squared. So, oops, need another parentheses, squared times the probability of s. So basically what this is, is the difference between um, the expected value of x and x, uh, the, the random variable, um, the value of the random variable of s, uh, square it so there's no negative, and then multiply by, by the probability of that random variable, or of that, um, so, sorry, of that sample actually occurring. Um, but we can actually boil this down to v of, oops, v of x equals the expected value of x squared minus the expected value of x squared. Note the squares are in different places that changes their values. Um, I can run through this uh, proof one real quick. So we start at the very top with the sum of s that is an s of x of s minus e of x squared v e of s. Okay. Uh, now we can distribute out this uh, x of s and e, uh, minus e of x, or e of x, uh, which leaves us with the sum, and I'm going to assume that it's a uh, little less, is, that's in big, of, big S, of x of s squared p of s minus, and we're going to pull the 2 e of x out of the sigma x of s p of s. I'm going to go on the next line because I'm running out of space. E of x squared, because we can pull that out. Um, making sure I did that right, yep. Times the sum probability of s. Now we can look at these terms, we can uh, simplify them a bit. Uh, if we sum the, well, first of all, we know, I'm going to make a note here. The expected value of x is equal to the sum of all, a little less, that's in big S of, one second, p of s times x of s. Okay, uh, so that, that's what we'd call the expected value of s. Um, and if we look here, that's what this is right here. The p of s, x of s there. So we can replace those terms uh, in our equation. Also note that since we have an x squared here, we can just say uh, that that summation is equal to uh, the expected value of x squared with the squared on the inside because it's the same thing uh, minus 2 e to the x and like I said we can replace this with the expected value of x and then add e of x squared now the sum of all the probabilities of s is actually just equal to 1 because that's every event happen uh, every possible event happening probability of those summed together is going to be 1. Um, so if we take this equation now and look at it, we have um, this we can cross out and make it e to the x squared because it's just multiplying it. And we're subtracting 2 then adding 1. So if we just get rid of this here, get rid of that there, that leaves us with expected value of x squared minus expected value of x squared. So that's where uh, our really simple equation for variance comes from.
So here's a really quick example of how to calculate variance. Um, first, we'll, we'll say for rolling a, uh, rolling a die. Okay, sample space is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Uh, it's not supposed to be, it's supposed to be a curly bracket. All right, and so we're going to use the, the simple equation, v of x equals expected value of x squared minus the expected value of x squared. Okay, uh, so let's first calculate expected value of x. Okay, we know e of x is equal to the sum, that was a horrible sigma, the sum of the random variable times its probability for all with less and big S. Okay, so for rolling die, we know the different outcomes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6, they have a uniform distribution. So really what it'd be is 1 over 6 times 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6, which we find to be 1 over 6 times 6, 10, 16, 1, equal to 3.5. So now we have that expected value. Okay, now we need to calculate the expected value of x squared. So the expected value of x squared, is actually all we have to do is uh, square the expected value, or the random variable values, which, so it's going to be the same thing, 1 over 6, but times 1 squared plus 2 squared plus 3 squared plus 4 squared plus 5 squared plus 6 squared which is the same as 1 over 6 times 1 plus 4 plus 9 plus 16 plus 25 plus 36, which is 1 over 6 times 91, which is about equal to 15.166. Repeat it. Okay, now all we need to do to calculate the variance is find the, uh, plug those numbers into this equation. I forgot the E. So we know the values of this, and we know the values of this, so that's equal to about 15.1666 minus 3.5 squared, which is equal to 15.1666 repeated minus 12.25, which is about equal to 2.91. Six six. Repeated. So that would be the variance of uh, tossing a die. As you can see, it's fairly large compared to the actual expected value, which is three point five. This is because there are, it's a uniform probability, uh, so that means we're more likely to see that number deviate away. Also, there aren't many uh, values to the exp uh, random variable. Another important thing to look at is Chebyshev's inequality. Uh, Chebyshev's inequality basically tells us that. Uh, the variant, uh, the variance uh, helps us determine how far away things will be from uh, the actual expected value. Now that sounds a little weird, but uh, here's a better way of explaining it with the equation. The probability of the absolute value, that is the di uh, difference between x of s minus the expected value, will always be greater than r. The probability that it will be greater than or equal to r is equal to, or is less than or equal to, sorry, uh, the variance of x divided by r squared. Okay, now this seems kind of weird at first, and it's actually kind of broad too. It doesn't really tell us a whole lot, uh, but it, it can be important because it does tell us that uh, given a distance away, it won't be uh, the probability of that uh, of x being our, our distance away from e in either direction, that's why there's absolute value, is going to be less than or equal to the variance over r squared. So uh, let's prove that once. We know that we let, let's define an event known as a, uh, which is equal to all um, all at little s and big s such that x of s. Oh, sorry, the absolute value. Oh shoot, the absolute value x of s minus e of x is less, uh, greater than r. Okay. Now, if you go back and look at uh, Chebyshev's inequality, 
that's the uh, basically the probability. We're finding the probability of this. Okay. Um, so if we look at the variance of x, we know the variance of x is equal to sum of all little s and big S of x of s minus expected value of s, x rather, squared times the probability of s, right? Although we can actually break this down further, we can look at the sum as two parts, what's in a and what's not in a. Uh, so we'll do another, which is equal to sum of little s that's in a of the same thing, x s minus the expected value of x squared times the probability of s plus, and I'm going to do this in the next line because I'm running out of space, sum of s that is not in a such that x of, oh, shoot, x of s minus the expected value of x squared times the probability of s. Okay, now that we've broken into these two parts, let's evaluate them and think about what they mean for this inequality. Okay, we know this part over here will always be positive because it's, uh, you're squaring whatever is in here. So even if this part in here is negative, we're going to square it, it's going to make a positive. And P of S will never be negative. So each of the summons is going to be positive, thus the entire sum is going to be positive. Okay, uh, and we can look at this part here and we can determine that, um, one second, we can determine that each of these will be greater than or equal to R. Okay, so what does that mean? We can replace this middle part with R because we know they're going to be greater than or equal to R. So let's rewrite this again. Okay, oh, one second. Look at this again. We are squaring it still. Don't forget we're not getting rid of the squared part. Okay, so we can, we're eliminating the second term too because we know we're going to make this variance of x still, which is on the left-hand side, will make it a greater than or equal to sign because we're eliminating what was on the right-hand side, uh, the, the second sum. Uh, and then we'll do the sum of all little s that's in a of r squared times p of s. Okay. Now, if we look at this again, so um, we can see that r squared um, times p of s, this, this sum, is actually equal to r squared times p of a. Okay, by definition of um, probability, we can say that um, of all s that's in a, the probability of it is going to be the probability of a when we sum them up. So we can say now that the variance of x is less than, or greater than or equal to r squared times p of a, and from there it follows that probability of being an A is less than or e equal to the variance of X over R squared, which is exactly what we were finding because the probability of A, A is a set P absolute value of X of S minus E X is greater than R, less than or equal to B of X over r squared. So that's what Chebyshev's inequality is and that's how we derive it. It's a very, it's actually kind of simple if you take the time to look at it. So I'd like to give a very short example of Chebyshev's inequality. Uh, so all we're doing is we're going to apply to the same dice problems before. Probability that the difference between the, the random variable and uh, expected value is uh, greater than or equal to r. Let's set r equal to 2. We remember the variance from last time. So we can find out um, the value of v of x over r squared will be equal to about 0 0.729166, a lot of a lot of numbers, uh, and we can find we can actually rewrite this expression, uh, get rid of the absolute value, the probability that x of s is greater than or equal to 5.5, or x of s is less than or equal to 1.5. That's what we're really looking for after we get rid of the absolute value. And in the case of dice, there's only one value above 5.5, which would be 6, and one value below 1.5, which would be uh, 1. So the probability of 1 or 6 is equal to 1 third, which we know is less than or equal to 0 0.729166.
Well, thank you for watching, and uh, this has been uh, Discrete Math with Josh Franz.